Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. With the name of Allah, who is very kind and merciful. Welcome to the DevOps King channel. In this channel, you will find the find the solution and explanation of different tasks in the Azure DevOps. Right now, you will watch the solution for the migration of Azure DevOps board. These all all videos are prepared by senior DevOps certified resource. In order to search the channel on the YouTube, please use this word DevOps King. You will find the channel DevOps King. In step one for the migration of Azure board, first of all, we shall migrate the Azure board across the organization. Cross organization means from one organization to the other Azure organization. So first of all, we shall open the source Azure board. In source Azure board, first of all, we shall create the query. Like you can see, one thing should be considered that during the query, you should select the option flat list of the work item, flat list of the work item during the creation of the query. By default, the query is work item all and state all. After making the query, you will, you will click on the run the query. Then you will save this query. Make sure that you are saving the query in the shared queries folder of the Azure DevOps. Give its name all work item and the most important thing is you are you will save this query in the shared queries. In the step two, in the step two, make sure that this query is exist in the shared queries. When we click on the queries link, after that we click on the all. And in the shared queries, we should get the all work items query that we will use for our migration. Now in the step three, first of all, we shall download the VSDS work item migrator from the Azure on the GitHub. This migrator application is developed by Microsoft by using the .NET Core 2. So, after opening this URL, click on the code. Download the zip and after that, unzip it in the step 4. Unzip this zip file. You will find the solution file work item migration dot solution. So open it in the Studio 2022. But this solution is migration solution is prepared in Studio 2017. You can use Studio 2017, but I am using Studio 22. Make sure that you are open, opening the Vue Studio as an administrator. When you will open this view solution file in the in the view studio right click on the solution file and build it after the successful build you can see in the screenshot you will come to the vi migrator section as you can see on the screenshot right click on the wi migrator and open in the window explorer open folder in the file explorer. So you will find the this one. You will find the like this one. This is the content 
in the wi migrator folder here sample dot configuration dot json put it into the proper place it, it, this is very important put the sample dot configuration dot json in the proper place so that you can execute it during the migration so in the next step we first we shall copy this sample dot configuration dot json and paste it at this position at bin debug net core application 2 at this position after renaming it to the configuration its name given from the microsoft sample co configuration we shall rename it configuration so make sure that the configuration dot json and the dll for the migrator wa migrator should be on the same level for the smooth migration otherwise you will get an error before we update configuration we need some parameter from the source and the target azure organization as we are migrating the azure board across the azure organization we need some parameter in order to fill the configuration configuration dot json file so we shall take some parameter from the source azure organization and target azure organization so in this case first of all we shall open the source organization of from the azure and note something first of all up after opening the source azure organization we shall click on the user button this one after clicking the user button we shall click on the personal access token in the next step we shall create a new token when we shall we click on the new token we shall get the interface like this fill it give the name my devops organization your organization and for the 30 days a date is this one and click the full access and after that create click on the create button when you click on the create button you will get the personal access token copy this personal access token by clicking on this copy action and this personal access token pad will be used for our migration we shall put this value in our configuration.json file after getting the personal access token for the source organization we shall also need its url its url url is up to the organization source organization and the other one is team project these three parameter for the source organization will be used in the configuration.json so in this case up to the this we have a organization url and this one is the team project name we shall in the step 12 we shall repeat this process for our target organization target azure organization in the target azure organization we shall repeat the above step first of all we shall create the pet next one we shall copy the organization url and the team project same step as we have performed in the previous step after getting these three parameter for the target organization we shall open our configuration.json file we shall open our configuration.json file so in configuration.json file we shall put these value for the source and the target organization for the source organization we have url source.org the project the team project name is king1 and after that this is the pet we have created in the step previous step this is the pet for the source organization after that for the target connection we shall write down we shall note the target org we shall write the team project name and after that we shall write the pet for the source target one more thing important thing we you should know we shall write the name of the query that we have created in our source organization in the source organization we have created a query in the shared query folder with name all wit and one more thing in the default area path write the king 2 so that the default area is king 2 for the target team project 
similarly we shall write the default iteration path is going to is the target team project after writing this thing we shall we shall come to this path this path is very important we shall open the command prompt as administrator and up to this point we shall open it in command prompt we shall apply the command dot net to make sure that the dot net is on the path when we shall apply dot net we shall get this output it means that our dot net is on the path dot net is installed on the solution in the step 16 now we shall apply the command dot net wi migrated dot dll the name of the dll for the microsoft migrator when we apply this command we shall get the this options this option one is dash dash validate and other is migrate in the validate command in the step 17 we shall apply the validate command the, we have two command one is validate and other is migrate so for the first option we shall apply the validate command validate command will check our config, configuration.json file when we shall apply this command at this path dot net wi migrate dot dll dash dash validate configuration json we shall this command will validate our configuration dot json in the next step in step 18 we shall apply the actual command for the migrate so dot net wi migrate dot dll dash dash migrate configuration dot json when we shall apply this command our migration will start after the completion of the migration we shall come to the target organization and we shall make the query uh, click on the target organization query section and make the query like this one after that you will click on the run query when you click on the run query you will find the all the work items in the in the target Azure organization. Thank you for watching the solution prepared by certified Azure DevOps engineer. Wish you good luck for your profession.